Morning North 826 If you have a unique train trip throughout North, you will soon get to a almost unique train from the comfort of house in North Ontario. When via Railway Canada's Bud Car Northern Ontario stands in its wild nature, everyone Yolam dozen canoe that predicts what to come out of the trunk car, feed supply of fishing hut for a week or even new device needed badly. The Trapping Train 185 is the fourth installment in the Tapping series of TVO, which takes people on a real-time journey in various parts of Ontario. Materials, no narrative only natural sounds and occasionally text pop-ups or animations for historical context. The film is located through Rail Canada's Flag de Rock but Automobile Service. Vasi extends for about 480 km in nature, only a handful of communities along the line. It doesn't look like anything you can imagine that you are on a train. What you see is great. Train 185, I think Ontario's, may be the best hidden secret of Canada, he said. Chicken Train 185 Premier is in cet April 1900 and that vous. For some, train route is only land access to rest of country from heart of North Ontario. The train 185's remote flag stops and the 7 a year equipment combination makes it a kind on the continent. The leading Bud RDC unit receives a front camera mounted on Sudbury's diesel electrical services before his next trip the Bud company made about 400 between the 1940s and the 1960s, but only a handful of active service in North America. Train history as area said, the riders of the journey took back on time. A frameful film as area and his team took few trips, including a segment during winter storm. The crew, with canoes, and even with a newly delivered barbecue, there are scenes that load the luggage car and s from ground. There is also an animation of a school car that provides training to children living away from towns. The documentary takes tips from a Norwegian film, making style known as slow television. These productions show their subjects in real time, usually covers a few hours or even days. A production was 2013 for more than two weeks. Most the film comes from an engineer's point of view from an engineer mounted in front the trainer's area said that he thinks his series is a immersive television, because his films are arranged from the full length of the original actions. This doesn't look like anything you can imagine you're on a train. What you'll see is great. Said. The first film in the follow-up series was a four-hour journey on the Rideau Channel on a vintage wooden motorized boat. The last two were three hours long, a hawk perspective on the Niagara River and a sailing trip on the Bruce Peninsula. Azaria said he hoped that his film would inspire people to take this train trip. According to TVO, the original opening film on the Rideau Channel drew an audience of a premiere of 1.2 million. The film crew took the Bud car repeatedly for this film especially because future of the train is uncertain, more people who use service wanted to see. In 2011, via rail scrapped the other Bud automobile route on Vancouver Island. This company launched major investigation about the accident value of Bud Stainless Steel Passenger Coach. A similar remote in the former Algoma Central Railway closed the flag stop train in 2015. Via Rail Sudbury, White River service has three rounds every week, 